Gerald Ford is America's only president who never was elected to that office. Gerald Ford was an accidental president, a man no one ever expected to occupy the White House. He wasn't even elected vice president. Gerald Ford was born Leslie King Jr. on July 14, 1915 in Omaha, Nebraska, but grew up in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where he took the name of his stepfather and became Gerald Ford Jr. He was a football star in both high school and at University of Michigan before attending Yale Law School. He served in the Navy during World War II and then returned home to Michigan to practice law. 1948 was a good year for Gerald Ford. He got married in October to the memorable Betty Ford and the next month he won a sweeping victory that took him to Congress as a Republican from Michigan. During Gerald Ford's 25 years as a congressman, he rose through the ranks and became the GOP House Minority Leader. He was known for his work on foreign policy, the space program, and the Warren Commission. During this time, Gerald and Betty Ford also raised four children together. In October of 1973, then Vice President Spiro Agnew resigned among many, many charges of corruption. Gerald Ford was later appointed by President Richard M. Nixon to be the new Vice President of the United States. Nixon knew that Ford was popular in the House of Representatives and could get confirmed. There wouldn't be political opposition to him. So he became vice president almost by default. Less than a year after he became vice president of the United States, Gerald Ford found himself the 38th president of the United States after Richard Nixon became the first president to resign from office. Gerald Ford was sworn in as president of the United States on August 9, 1974. A month later, he pardoned Richard Nixon, the single most controversial act of his presidency. He thought it was good for the country to put the Nixon thing behind us, and he did. Jerry Ford was a breath of fresh air after the Nixon resignation. Kind of a straightforward, uncomplicated person, and America really appreciated after the complicated, tortured paranoia of the Nixon years. Gerald Ford inherited as president a country that was reeling from an economic crisis and a loss in the Vietnam War. There were two assassination attempts on his life, but Ford was able to still have some foreign policy victories. He was the first president to visit Japan, and he also negotiated a detente with the Soviet Union. In 1976, Gerald Ford lost to Jimmy Carter in the presidential general election. He then retired to Rancho Mirage, California, where he served on a number of corporate boards and enjoyed playing golf. He died on December 26, 2006, at the age of 93. People remember Gerald Ford today as kind of a caretaker, a man who put us all back on track, made the presidency a respectable position in the eyes of the public, seemed an ordinary guy for extraordinary times.